Two decades after its initial launch, the X3 is still one of the most important models for the Bavarian car maker. Compact size, great performance, and generous interior space are some of the key reasons why there are so many buyers that choose this crossover over other models in the class. Even the current generation, which has been around for more than six years, still holds up against the competition pretty well. However, BMW is already working on the next generation, and according to the latest reports, the full redesign is just around the corner. What is the 2024 BMW X3 about to bring? Is this going to be an evolution of the well-known design? Or maybe this overhaul could bring something radical. Stay with us to find out. As mentioned, the Bavarian car maker is preparing a completely new version of its most popular SUV. And if we consider that the outgoing generation is still doing very well on the market, it's quite easy to make some basic predictions. BMW's key advantage over the competition is that its engineers put an excellent foundation from the very beginning, so there is no need for wandering around and searching for the right formula. No, the X3 is already an excellent compact SUV, and that clearly indicates that the next generation is about to bring mostly evolutionary changes because why change something that's already great? For that reason, it's no surprise that the new 2024 BMW X3 is going to ride on the same Claire platform and that the overall layout won't change at all. No, the company is going to make only fine improvements in areas where needed, starting from the new styling upgraded powertrain options, new technologies, etc. After a couple of turbulent years and a couple of unsuccessful tries, it looks like the Bavarian car maker has finally found its way to the next generation design language. Thankfully, it looks like we won't be seeing those oversized grille designs anymore. At least, not in the case of the new X3. The new generation has been spotted, and despite still wearing complete camouflage, it's easy to see a contour of the new grille, which seems quite similar to the one on the outgoing generation, just a tiny bit larger and sharper. Moreover, the whole test model seems kind of familiar in terms of the overall shape. The proportions are quite similar to the outgoing model, which is good because such a design ensures a great balance between attractive aesthetics and interior practicality. The new generation will probably get slightly bigger dimensions, which would translate to more interior space, larger cargo area, etc. For reference, the outgoing model is 185.4 inches long and features a 112.8 inch wheelbase which already makes it one of the largest models in the class. As for the interior design, it will also come completely new, and as expected, the Bavarian car maker will apply the latest design philosophy, which combines a simplistic design approach with some quite impressive tech features. If you look at the test mule's interior, even though it still hides some parts of the cabin, the full-width screen is obviously there in the form of a massive panel that integrates an infotainment screen and digital instrument cluster into a single unit. Speaking of the tech features, it's also worth mentioning that the next generation of this compact SUV won't get the company's latest iDrive 9 system. At least the initial version won't. Instead, it will come with the latest version of the Linux operating system known as the iDrive 8.5, which is still a pretty impressive piece of software when compared to the competition. As we mentioned a few moments ago, the new 2024 BMW X3 seems to feature bigger dimensions than the outgoing model, which means we can expect more interior space as well. We presume this could reflect the passenger space, even though the outgoing model already stands very well and offers plenty of leg and headroom in both rows. The same is true with the cargo area, which is already among the biggest in the class with nearly 29 cubic feet behind the second row and 63 cubic feet of the total cargo volume. Considering the manner of this redesign, which will be mostly about the evolution, it's pretty safe to say that most of the powertrain options will carry on from the current model. But they will all get upgrades. One of the most interesting changes is actually that there will be no I in the gas-powered model's designation, probably because the company doesn't want to create confusion with the growing I family of EV models. Therefore, the base model is now expected to be called the Strive 30, and it will carry on with the familiar 2-liter Turbo 4, 
but the new iteration of this engine will get a mild hybrid setup and a notable power upgrade. The exact number is still a mystery, but we presume it will get pretty close to 300 horsepower. The same is expected with the optional 3-liter inline-six, which is currently rated at 382 horsepower. With the new model, the max output will most likely go over 400 horsepower, so we won't be surprised if BMW names this model the M50 instead of the current M40 to accentuate that power increase. Besides lots of power, the new M40 or M50 will also get a typical M treatment, which includes various chassis and suspension tunings, starting from the lower ground clearance, adaptive suspension, and additional drive modes. Also, the new generation is expected to bring back the plug-in hybrid version, which was discontinued back in 2021. The exact details are still unavailable, but we are pretty sure we will see a new system, maybe even the same one that powers the new X5 plug-in hybrid that, besides respectable power, also offers quite impressive 40 miles of the all-electric range. As for the transmission, no surprises are expected, and the next generation X3 will continue with the excellent 8-speed automatic from ZF. Of course, let's not forget the range-topping X3M, which should also get a nice portion of upgrades. The well-known twin-turbo inline-six will remain, though probably with some power increase. The current version of the engine is rated at 473 horsepower and 457 pound-feet of torque, so we could easily see the maximum output going above 500 horsepower. Finally, the most extreme version, the M competition should go in a similar direction and feature more power than the current generation, which is rated at 503 horses and 479 pound-feet of torque. In 2020, the Bavarian company introduced an all-electric version of its popular crossover called the iX3. Produced in China, this particular version has been sold in North America as well, but hasn't been able to mark significant success, mainly because of the limited performance. Namely, this EV was based on the standard X3 and therefore features a relatively modest range provided by an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. Moreover, it comes only as a rear-wheel drive SUV with a single 288 horsepower electric motor that ensures a top speed of no more than 112 miles per hour. Thankfully, this will change with the next generation and the new iX3 will be built as a separate model based on an EV dedicated platform, the Neue Klasse EV platform. With such a design approach, it will exceed the outgoing model in every aspect, especially when it comes to the max range and charging speed. Also, we count on more configurations on offers, including both rear and all-wheel drive variants. Speaking of the max range, the new model will use the Gen 6 battery technology, which will offer 20% better energy density. Hypothetically, the new technology will be able to ensure over 600 miles of range. In the case of the iX3, we expect that the company will aim at 300 to 350 miles per charge, though we won't exclude the possibility of seeing different battery packages on offer and some kind of a long-range version. As for the exterior design, we presume that, despite the similar proportions, the new iX3 is going to come with a couple of exclusive styling details to accentuate its all-electric nature. Most likely, it will share aesthetics with models like the recently presented i5. The same is expected with the interior design, which should utilize the same or similar full-width screen, but a couple of exclusive details as well. The all-new fourth generation of BMW's compact crossover will arrive in 2024. The exact launch date is still unknown, but we presume that could happen already in the first half of 2024. As for the price, the current model starts at a little bit over 47,000, but the new one will most likely cost a couple of thousands more. We estimate that could be around $50,000 for the base version. Once again, the X3 will primarily compete with arch rivals, Mercedes-Benz GLC and Audi Q5, but the segment is actually full of amazing cars, starting from entry-level models like the Genesis GV70 and the Acura RDX. What do you think about the 2024 BMW X3? Will it be able to retain the model's excellent position on the market? Is this still one of the best luxury SUVs you can buy for the money? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.
Thanks for watching and see you next time.